Typically, when we want to send emails in Laravel, we create classes called mailables that have all the configuration information for the given email. Occasionally, though, it could be really useful to just send an email from our code without the additional overhead of a mailable class. And in this guide, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're following along, all the code I'm going to be showing is available via the notes that accompany this video. You can find a link in the description. But let's jump right into the code. I've already got it set up. I've got a basic demo controller. I've set up an email subject and body for an example email. And then following that in the first example, I'm referencing the mail facade, which I've got a use statement for at the top of my file, so that's accessible. And then on that facade, there's a method called raw. This allows us to send plain text emails. We're gonna pass this two arguments, the body of our email, which I've defined up here, and then a closure that's gonna set up the details of our message. So here you can see we're setting the recipient of our message and we're also setting the subject. Now in this example, because our body does include some HTML content, when we send this as plain text, we're just gonna see the actual HTML element. It's not gonna be rendered. Uh, if we wanna render HTML content in our email, we're gonna switch from the raw method over to the HTML method. Um, and that would translate that HTML. Uh, finally, if we wanna get the contents of our email from a view file, we could do that. We're just gonna use the view helper to indicate the name of the view file we wanna pull in. And then rather than returning it like we usually would from a controller, we're just gonna invoke the render method on that. We're gonna capture the results as the body of our email. And then we're gonna once again send that using the HTML method. All right, so three different examples, a plain text email, an HTML email where we're defining the content directly here, and then an HTML email where we're getting the content from our view. And just to pop over to that view quick, here's the contents. It's just got a little bit of HTML in it itself. Uh, let me run this example so we can see what these emails actually look like. So going over to the browser, I'm just gonna refresh the uh, route that is triggering this controller method. I don't have any output on this page, but it should have sent those emails. So I'm gonna switch over to my development email program. I'm currently using Mailhog. And there are my three emails. Let's take a look at the plain text one first. So as expected, there is our content. You can see the HTML code is not being rendered. But if we switch over to our HTML email, there we can see that H1 is rendered. And then finally, we can check the email that was generated from a view. And with that, that's the basics of firing off quick emails in your Laravel application without having to generate a whole separate mailable class, which generally speaking, I do recommend doing. It's a good way to keep your code base organized, have good separation of concerns. This technique I'm showing here can just be useful sometimes for quick development purposes. Um, I've had examples where I just wanted to like fire off a notification email to an admin to let them know some event had occurred on the server. Didn't wanna create a whole separate class for that. So this was a good use case for that. Now, if you're working with email sending in Laravel, I have another video you might wanna check out. I'll include a link on the screen. Uh, this video covers several different options when it comes to uh, sending and viewing emails during the development process, including the Mailhog service I showed earlier in this video.